Today I'm going to show you how to clean the sensor in a mirrorless camera and also ways that you can reduce sensor dust. If you own a mirrorless camera, and especially one of the Sony full-frame mirrorless cameras, you'll be very familiar with sensor dust. The way that you can tell if you've got dust on your sensor, if you can't see it when taking the lens off, is to hold the camera up to an evenly lit sky, put your camera into manual focus, focus to the closest point, and close your aperture down, then hold it up against a white wall or a flat white sky. When you move your camera around, the spots stay in exactly the same place. One of the ways to reduce the amount of dust getting on your sensor is to put a bit of sticky tape on the inside of your sensor cover cap. What this will do is when you're in transit or when the camera's in your bag, you'll have this in there. Any bits of dust that come away from the sensor will then stick to the tape. The other two things that I always carry around in my bag are one of these blowers and obviously the other one for just cleaning the lenses is a lens cloth. So with those three things in my bag, I can normally have a dust-free sensor. So what I'm gonna do is go through the process now and show you how I clean my sensor. I do have a bit of dust on my A7R2, so I'm gonna clean that one. The first thing to do is remove your lens and make sure the dust isn't on the back of the lens. I'll also use the blower to clean the front of the lens off as well. So that will remove any bits of dust. And then I'll just put the caps on both sides of the lens and put it to one side. Next, I'll get the blower and clean out the sensor area. Once you've used the blower to clean out that sensor area in the camera, put the cap back on and then go into your last menu, which is the toolbox and find cleaning mode. Then just click on enter. You'll have to turn it off and on again after doing this process. Once you've done that, put the lens back on the camera and take another photo of a white wall or an evenly lit sky. Now, if you still can't get those really stubborn bits of dust off your sensor, the next step is to use a sensor cleaning kit. I have this one from Green Clean, and it's a two-part cleaning system. So you have a wet swab and a dry swab, and this will get rid of any really awkward bits of dust on your sensor. So with those stubborn bits of dust, the first thing to do is turn your camera over and turn it on. Go into your toolbox menu and select cleaning mode and then click enter. It will shake the sensor about if you have IBIS in your camera, then it says to turn the power off and back on again. Leave it with this message on and leave the camera on and this will lock the sensor into place. With this wet and dry sensor cleaner, you're gonna start off with the wet swab. It's all in there, it's all ready to go, so you literally rip it open and pull the swab out. So once you've got this out, be very careful about touching the end. This is gonna go onto your sensor and it's gonna put the wet solution on the face of the sensor. So all you're gonna do is just drag it across the sensor. These are one use only and that wet swab will dry up after a while. So the next thing you want to do is get the dry swab out. And all you're gonna do again is just drag it across the sensor. Once you've done that, then turn the camera off and then turn it back on again. Keep it face down so no dust falls in on the sensor and either put your lens cap or a lens back on. And that's about it. If you have a blower and a lens cloth and use the cleaning function in the camera, normally you can get most of the bits of dust off your sensor. Also, putting the bit of sticky tape on the inside of your sensor cap normally gets a lot of that dust and that dust will stick to that sticky tape. If you do have a really stubborn bit of dust on your sensor, you can either take it to a shop near you for cleaning or clean it yourself. If you do clean it yourself, take your time don't panic and go through the steps that I've told you. Then you should have a dust-free sensor. As always, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And for weekly tutorials, hints and tips in photography and videography, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll see you in the next one.